Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster and journalist, music journalist, of course, based in the UK. I'm going to talk to you today about this, among other things. John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band, released in late 1970. It's the box set, and it is the ultimate John Lennon box set. Now, we've already had the Imagine box set, but this is what John was doing in 1970. Him and Yoko decided to record a pair of albums, and they, they look very similar cover-wise, but they are slightly different. Um, this particular one sees Yoko um, leaning against the tree, I think it's Yoko, leaning against the tree, and John lying and resting his head on her lap. Um, it's the other way around for Yoko's album. Um, I have to say the Plastic Ono Band, you can define the Plastic Ono Band as the beardy years for John. Um, it started with uh, a single called Give Peace a Chance, which is originally credited to Lennon and McCartney. That was recorded um, in 1969 in a hotel room. And what you get on here is the extra singles. You get also get Cold Turkey and you get Instant Karma, which were all 1970. And basically the album was recorded sort of September, October 1970, following the sort of summer... Uh, treatment in America. John, because of his drugs bust in 68, was not allowed to enter America, which caused problems, which is why he had to go and perform in Toronto and do his press releases in Toronto uh, in 1969, because he wasn't allowed into America. But for medical reasons, he was allowed in to be treated by Dr. Arthur Zhanoff, who, of course, brought about the primal scream therapy. So a lot of people think of this as the Primal Scream album. Now, in many ways, it's very tough. And I always remember John Lennon quoting um, something at the time that he said, well, Imagine was sugar-coated for those who couldn't take the Plastic Ono Band. I've got to be honest and say that, that there's a lot of wonderful melodies on this album. Um, isolation, God, uh, Love. And um, it, it is, it's a really, really good album and both melodically and musically now there is a very basic setup on this album what you have is john on piano and guitar you have ringo on drums you have klaus Foreman on bass and the, the the very early sessions for this you get this is basically six cds and two blu-rays and now everything on here pretty much is on the two blu-rays so if you have a Blu-ray setup, then you can hear the entire box set on both those Blu-rays. But it's great fun going through the CDs, I have to say. And um, the Evolution mixes, the Raw mixes, the, it's all there. And um, it was recorded in about a month, sort of September, October, released in November, I think, 1970. Um, what you get here is, let's take these out now. Uh, there's a wonderful book here which details the sessions as you can imagine um no pun intended but um you get lots of pictures of john in the studio and um yoko in the studio as well and you get the various pictures there you go there's the single cover for give peace a chance and we also got cold turkey again cold turkey was uh john uh, Yoko and Eric Clapton and Klaus Foreman and Ringo Starr although Instant Karma was uh, John, Klaus Foreman, um, Alan White and George Harrison funnily enough and Alan White and George Harrison and John Lennon all played the piano on that particular track and um, that was actually produced by Phil Spector now this was allegedly produced by Phil Spector but I've seen a documentary recently that basically says that well, Phil didn't turn up till the latter stages of the recording of this album. Um, there's a fabulous photo of John and Yoko together. Of course, they, at this point, they cut all their hair off. And um, they, they'd given it to a guy called um, Michael, Michael X, who was, uh, he, he was auctioning it off for a charity. Um, Michael X, of course, was um, a bit of a bad boy. It ended, ended up being executed about five, six years later um, for murdering somebody. But uh, at the time, he caught the eye of uh, John and Yoko and they decided to cut their hair off and do something with it, auction it off. So they're very sort of short-haired here. John's still, as I said, beardy. 
but um, yeah, and the, the stuff on here is, is just amazing. You get a lot of photos of John as a boy in there. There's, that's John, probably when he was living with his Aunt Mimi in Liverpool. Um, and it's it's a really good read right the way through. And I've got another book which I'm going to show you. And here's some, that's some drawings that John did. And there's some of the original master tapes that we used during the sessions. I'll find another picture in a second. There was a lot of tapes used. For this album hence it's been expanded into a box set um and it kind of i suppose documents 1970. um there's an interesting photo now i believe that photo was taken at candlestick park in 1966 which was of course the last time the beatles performed in america in san francisco it was the final concert of the 1966 tour which was eventful to say the least but uh, that photo was taken of john just as he was plugging in his guitar in Candlestick Park, which incidentally was actually recorded. Paul McCartney asked Tony Bramwell, a very, very well-known um, Beatles associate, worked for the Beatles right the way through from the early days. I think he started off as George Harrison's roadie and then worked for NEMS and then worked for Apple, of course. And uh, he's a lovely guy, a very good friend of mine, Tony Bramwell. Um, there's a picture of John and Yoko in there. Yeah, that's in 69, that's at their wedding in March 69, that's at Gibraltar, which is British territory. It's the only place they could get married quickly. And um, I think they got married just after Paul McCartney, married Linda McCartney, or Linda Eastman as she was then. But um, there's some great photos in here covering that period, 69, 70. Um, this photo here, I think that's John and Yoko in America when they were undergoing the primal scream therapy um again it, it, a lot of this album was born out of the therapy sessions where john is forced to con if you like confront his past hence the opening song mother and uh, we have a photo of john's mother here julia let's find it there you go that's julia of course loomed large in john's life even though she died in 1958. Um, he was just starting to get a relationship with Julia there uh, before she was killed, sadly, in a, an accident. Um, but this this album is uh, pretty good. What you should do is you, you should listen to it while going through the book, aren't maybe listen to it on headphones. Um, there you go, there's all, <laughs> and all the master tapes, which is, you know, quite a few master tapes there, to be honest with you. Now, if we look at the the, actual CDs they come in two packets here this is the one with the blu-rays in the two blu-rays there one and two and what you get here is as I open it out so there's some little extras in here as well so I don't want to lose them that's the that's the CDs they're the six CDs you have great fun working through them uh, the elements mixes they're pretty good i have to say um you get some extra stuff there's a big poster here war i won't i won't open it it's called war is over there which they were all sort of round about christmas planted everywhere across the world on billboards um you get some also uh, some it's that i i'm pretty sure that is uh the cover or what was going to be the cover for a give peace a chance and um Oh, you get these postcards in there as well. So it's a beautiful package. Now, if you can afford it, so let me put these back here. This is an amazing book. This covers the period of the Plastic Ono Band album and also beyond. It goes, look at that. That's, a, they're written, that's all the pages there, right? And, and it's basically chronicles, John and Yoko um, and the Plastic Ono Band. Uh, it's there's lots of great photos. There's another full page picture of the cover of Give Peace a Chance, and it covers pretty much like I said the uh, the, the period sort of 1969, 1970, 71. I mean, it ends actually. If you look at the very end here, there's some interesting photos at the end where. Um, John's actually shaved his beard off, which is quite funny. It's pictured in Japan. Um, clean shaven. And 
and uh, that was that sort of again takes you through all these because that's when he first I think that's when he first went to America in 71 no actually it wasn't because I think he went to America in 1971 this is early 71 because that is around about the period of um, Power to the People which was a single that uh, he put out in early 1971 so as I said, the beardy years. Now I've got, I'm sure I've got a photo here of John clean shaven, and uh, it's well worth having. It's a bit pricey. There you go. That's John and Yoko. Well, John's clean shaven there, I think, isn't he? And he's it, that's in Japan, and uh, because John was all over the world. I mean, anyone who'd let him in. Uh, the big problem for John was the drugs bust in 1968. This book and the Plastic Ono band album or box set really are worth having and I've, I've got I can't stress this enough um, a lot of people really rate Imagine but I think the Plastic Ono Band album certainly is one of John's strongest albums and uh, it's out now in expanded format along with this book which came out just before Christmas in 2020 well worth getting I have to say and um, if you're a John Lennon fan I guess they're a must have so thanks for looking at these today and um, I hope you enjoy trawling through both the book and the box set. Thanks for watching.